What's up guys? I'm BDC and this is the Crash Landing mod. Got some updates for you. I went ahead and made all of the different patterns that I need. And I also do have some Alumite in here. However, I think I'm going to just go ahead and make them out of Cobalt instead. We'll skip the Alumite and we'll just make the Cobalt ones because those tend to be the best tools. How you can do that is by making Netherrack. Now Netherrack is pretty simple to make. You just take a bucket of lava, you put it into a stone barrel, and let me get another one right there. We're going to put that in there, and then we'll put this back in. And then you go and grab some redstone, like so. You throw the redstone in there, and bam, you got yourself some netherrack. So I'm going to put this in the ground over there. But I also want to show you that I did put some in the autonomous activator. And when you sieve out the netherrack, every now and again, you get a little bit of cobalt. It's very, very rare. I think it's about a 1% chance. Uh, you can also get ardite that way, I believe. I haven't gotten any yet, but uh, you're supposed to be able to. Now, what am I doing right here? Well, I'm going to put the netherrack down because I made a little mistake before. I have some grass seeds and uh, some rose red. We're going to combine those two up. And we're going to make ourselves some fire flower seeds. Now, I had made one of these previously, but I kind of wasn't paying attention to the rules. The rules say it must be placed on netherrack. Now, if you place it anywhere else, it will just burn up and then you lose it, which is what happens. So I'm going to throw this on the netherrack and... There we go. It actually planted, thankfully. Now, I also went ahead and made a bunch of machines. I got a fertilizer, some harvesters, and a planter. I also got a couple of extra machine frames. Of course, I did all this without realizing there's an actual quest chain to all this. So technological revolution, <laughs> there's a quest chain to all this stuff. I really should pay more attention to this. But the reason why I did that right there uh, was because the under pressure uh, this one right here tools of the trade I've already got the charging station the pneumatic wrench I want the GPS tool and I need the fire red plastic stuff and you have to get that from the uh, fire flower seeds over there now let's go well wait can I can I do this one making the upgrade why is this one flashing it's flashing like oh maybe it's because oh it's because it's available all right Never mind. For some reason, it felt like it was done. All right, so we've got this right here. I've got the printed circuit, the uh, PRC, and I've made a machine frame. We get a reward of a machine frame and also Invar. and Oh, we got Invar or Electrum. I'm going to go with the Invar because the Invar is more annoying. Uh, I have been making Invar. Uh, claim reward. Yes. I have been making Invar by putting a bunch of gravel in here. And the autonomous activator will sieve it. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, spread this out a bit more. There we go. I know I could put it all into one spot and have it so that it, like, I could do this right here. So that's randomly use items. Uh, I could have first slot only. So if I wanted only gravel, uh, but I also wanted to hit the netherrack every now and again. So I think I'm just going to do round robin. We'll just do round robin. And we'll leave that like that. And we'll put the dust back in there. And let's see. How much do I actually... Oh, there's a chicken egg. Awesome. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of grass seeds in here. Nice. Oh, oh I put a, a bunch of uh, dirt in there as well. And that gave me uh, rice. I think it was dirt. Yeah. I put a bunch of dirt in there because I really have no other use for dirt. So I put dirt in here, and it gave me a whole bunch of the grass seeds, which is good because uh, if I had screwed up that uh, the fire flower thing. Oh, that's what I wanted, some bone meal. Uh, let's get a stack of it because if I had messed up the fire flower thing again, then I could have just gone and made some more. So I'm going to – there we go. Uh, did it give me two? I think it only gave me the one, right? Oh, oh, what the? Oh, that's neat. So it doesn't, it doesn't quite work the same as, it doesn't quite work the same as like the other ones. 
It doesn't destroy itself. Oh, that's cool! I need a larger area then. Or something to catch all of the seeds. You know what I need to make is I need to make a, a vacuum hopper thingy. One of those little systems. And now that I've gotten a decent amount of uh, ender pearls, I should be able to do that. Oh, that's neat! Alright, well I've got six. I only need four in order to, uh, what do you call it, make the uh, the plastic there. Let's get let's get a little bit more. Oh, that's cool. So how do these work? Oh! Oh, that's awesome! I didn't even know it did that! So that's the chopper plant. I don't want that there, though. But it's... Oh, that's awesome! I didn't even know it did that. Wait, how did these work, then? So what's this one? The lightning plant? How does the lightning one work? Does, does the lightning one not, not do it? Or does it, like, call down lightning? And rain one? Maybe because I'm, like, in the desert. Maybe it doesn't quite work. I think these things generate... Oh. Oh. What the... What the hell is that? <laughs> I was wondering... I, like... <laughs> expected that at all i was uh <laughs> i kept finding i kept finding uh ink sacks over here and i was like um and i was wondering i'm like maybe they just throw ink sacks i was not expecting it to eject a squid into the air that was genuinely surprising <laughs> that's awesome wow that is pretty cool I'm going to do that more. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. I was not expecting that at all. And there's the ink sacks. That's where they were coming from. Oh, man. <laughs> well, and now they're suffocating or asphyxiating. I don't know what the correct terminology is. All right. I won't do it any. Sorry, squids. You're going to probably have to die. Oh, that's cool. I... I didn't even know that. That's awesome, though. Oh, that's pretty cool. They're all different. I, I had no idea that they were all did that. I mean, I knew the creeper one exploded, and that one was kind of annoying. But I didn't know the... Uh... Wow, I got a lot of ink sacks. I didn't know that the... Oh, yeah, look at that. The chopper plants are going to be everywhere now. I didn't know that they ejected a squid up into, up into the air. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, by the way, look at this. Bacon mushroom burger. These things are delicious. I love bacon mushroom stuff. Like bacon mushroom uh, pizza, bacon mushroom burger. Bacon mushroom is really good. So this gives you five food and a ton of the uh, saturation. So, oh, that's good. That's going to last a while. That's going to last a while. Well fed. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Anyways, what what was I doing? Oh, I would. I need to. Um, I want to make. I want to take this. Oh, an emerald. Nice. I want to take that, and we're gonna combine this into a block. And this has. Uh, okay. So the next thing is MFR basic. So a precision sledgehammer. I have no idea what the hell that does. And an upgrade tin. Okay. So, uh, I know how to make the hammers. Uh, let's see here. So, sledgehammer. What does this do? So, it's plastic. It's plastic and a stick. Okay. Really? You make that a, a sledgehammer out of plastic? That doesn't seem very durable. Okay. Well, we'll make it, I guess. And... Can this be used to, to break this stuff up? No, I don't think that 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 doesn't work for that. Um, I do need to make another hammer though, because mine is gone. Uh, I think it's like this, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So it's just a stone hammer. And then we get some of this stuff, and we can put this into that. Cobalt ore dust. Break that up. There we go. Nice. So I got six of the pulverized cobalt ore. 
How much does that actually make, though? I, that's only going to make, like, one ingot, right? Yeah, it's only going to make one ingot. If you put this down, you can't break this up anymore. That's it. It's just that. So this is this is one ingot worth, I believe. Yeah, I think that I think that's how it works. So we can we can throw this in here though. How much uh, oh, blood? How do I how do I get blood in there? Aluminum brass, alumite, uh, some aluminum iron. All right, well we'll throw the cobalt in there, and I'll keep this in here. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these bows. Scourge. I don't even know what scourge does. What does scourge do? If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I don't need the eggs. I'm going to get rid of that crap. If anybody knows what Scourge does, please let me know in the comments. Ooh, nice. Another silver. All right. Uh, what I want to do is I want to actually kind of automate this stuff. Uh, there aren't any auto crafting tables in this mod pack, but there are, what do you call it? Um, there are uh, cyclic assemblers, and I can also use autonomous activators. Now, I was told that you can make more bricks by building a, a high oven and then melting down cobble, and it will give you the uh, seared brick, which you can then uh, put into uh, uh, bricks and whatever, and then you can use that to make the pneumatic servos. So um, I will do that at a later time. I just saw another squid get shot up into the sky and then come <laughs> plop back down. I'm really surprised that this is the first time I've seen that. I thought that they just kind of threw ink sacks on the ground. I guess that's, I guess I was wrong. It's a little bit uh, funnier that way. I don't really need this anymore. This is all just kind of decorative at this point. Like I can make my own water, so I don't really need that over there anymore. And this definitely doesn't need to be here anymore. So I could take that down, but it's just kind of, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like a, a legacy thing. It's like the first water source that is available in the mod pack. So I don't know. I kind of want to leave it there. Whatever. Anyways, on to the quest stuff. So in order to do the next quest, I need to make a harvester, which I had already done, the planter, which I had already done, and I need to make a fruit picker. Now, I don't really want to make a fruit picker because it's a waste of resources. I'm not actually going to use it. I just need it for the quest. Uh, I don't need fruit anymore for any sort of food source, and I don't need them for composting either. Sugarcane is a much, 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 much better uh, solution than the fruit. So I could actually tear down all these trees. I don't even need them anymore. They're just kind of here. So I'll leave them there for now, but I don't, I don't need them. So that's pretty much it. All right. So in order to make the fruit picker, I need to make a bunch of shears, which I've already done. And I got a, a redstone uh, reception coil. I got a whole bunch of this new invar from those quests. So I'm just going to use that up. And we'll make an invar axe that's going to go there. And we got some plastic sheets and the redstone reception coil. What else? What else is there? Uh, oh, that's oh, it's double shears. That's right. Okay, hold on. Double shears. So we got that there, and then the machine frame, right? Yep, there we go. Fruit picker. Bingo, bango. And now we can complete that quest. So it's going to give us some item ducks, a, a better barrel, and raw plastic. So we got that. And then the next thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, all creatures great and small. We've got a rancher a chronotyper, and a breeder. Chronotyper, I think that, like, moves animals around or something like that. I, I don't... I don't think it, uh... I don't know. It, it's got a weird name. Oh, what's this? Using what you got. Uh, with a grinder running, you can make a lot of mob essence. So we've got an auto spawner, an auto anvil, and an auto enchanter. Okay, so those are pretty... E Ooh, diamond hammer. Oh, wow. That's kind of neat. Safari net reusable, Safari net single use. Oh, okay. So that's all right. That that that's all kind of simple stuff. So basic machines. Another thing is the pulverizer, the redstone furnace, and the energetic infuser, and then the auto packer. Now the pulverizer is going to be really handy because what that will allow me to do is I don't have to use the stupid stone hammer and smash stuff anymore. I can just filter everything into it. 
and it will take all of the uh, it'll take all of the cobble and it will smash it up into gravel and then I can I think it I think it will hold on uh, gravel I think that you get it from hold on pulverizer no you get it you get it from uh oh no, no you do get it okay you do get it from uh, cobble that was just it, it, i thought that was obsidian for for a second there uh so yeah cobble will give you gravel and sand and then you can just put both of those into this and have the sieve just running constantly and you'll get lots of uh lots of the resources that you need so some good news the pressure chamber interface is no longer causing frame rate drops on my system which is awesome because that was kind of preventing me from using the pneumaticraft stuff was anytime i put something in the pressure chamber and you see the item would go into the uh chamber right here and then it would get put out it was causing pretty significant issues and basically every five or so seconds my frame rate would just get cut in half so the game would kind of stutter and it was really really frustrating uh, but that seems to be fixed now, which is awesome. Uh, also, I got a bunch of the fire flower plastic and the chopper plastic. Uh, now, one thing that I want... Uh-oh. Oh, I'm out of water. One thing that I want to do is I want to make the... What is it? Uh, the vacuum hopper thingy. Because I just... Oh, God. More eggs. <laughs> chickens everywhere. Always chickens. Everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I also want to automate this process so that I don't have to come down here and do that manually anymore. We'll do that later, uh, but first I need to clear out this second floor here. And in order to do that, I need to make the tinker tools and stuff, so eh, that's that's a little bit off. We'll do that a little bit later on. Uh, anyways, what was I doing? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We need to make the uh, GPS thingy. So GPS, in order to make the GPS, I need a redstone torch. A diamond and a glass plane. Ooh, a di. Well, I got two diamonds. I got two diamonds. That's expensive, man. Whoo, that's kind of expensive. Do I have any glass? I, I should have some glass somewhere, don't I? I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Is that glass? Oh, I do have glass. Nice. Oh, uh, I need glass panes though. So that means I need six of these and we'll go like this this seems like a awful lot awful lot to just make this one little thing we'll take a stick give up the stick don't give up the stick man that's old that is old all right so we got redstone torch diamond a glass pane and then cover it with that, and we get the GPS tool from Pneumaticraft. Awesome. That's not what I want. Where is it? Under pressure. GPS tool. There we go. So we get a printed circuit board, a machine upgrade dispenser, and a machine upgrade item life. Okay, I don't know what those do. but uh, bef Wait, do not right-click in the air before setting the GPS tool to any coordinates. The game will crash. GPS tool is... Oh, I know what the GPS tool is used for. It's used for, like, the drones and stuff. Like you... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, wait. So, wait a minute. Oh, come on. There's another thing I gotta make. The air cannon will fire an item to a specific set of coordinates. Oh, come on. All right, hold on. Air cannon. How do we make the air cannon? Air cannon. How do we make this thing? Air cannon requires a cannon barrel, a stone base, a pressure to... All right, so the cannon barrel... Oh, God, there's all kinds of stuff. That's not that difficult. All right, well... Uh, okay, hold on. Vacuum? That's... Wait, that's not it. Va no. Is it, is it 1C? There we go, right there. Vacuum hopper. So I need an end of pearl, a hopper... And a piece of obsidian. So this is actually going to be kind of easy to make now. So I need that. A hopper. I've got a bunch of hoppers. And also a piece of obsidian. So let's put this together. 
And I don't know exactly. Is this a shapeless? It is a shapeless. Okay. So let's see. What I want to do is I want to put this in a tiny room with like all of these different things, all of these different plants. So that way, when they go boom, I don't, oh, 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 okay. So when they go boom, they all get pulled into this instead of spreading out all over the place. I already took out some of the chopper ones, but uh, all right, let's, uh, let me grab some, let me grab some, what do you call it? Some bone meal and let's see how this works. Actually, you know what? I'm, this might be better for, wait. Where did this? Oh my God, I know what just happened. Oh, that could have been bad. I did not remove this. I know what happened. I know what happened. These things, oh my God, it must have landed. Oh, that's what it's been doing. Yep, 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 that's what it did. Oh man, that could have been bad. That could have, oh, oh, oh man. That could have been really bad because that could have burned this entire thing down. Although, I I think this area is encased in stone now. Had it happened previously, that would have been bad. But I was like, why why is this missing? Like, where did this go? That's where it went. All right, let's, let's try this. Is it going to work? I don't think it's going to work because it's going too high. Ah, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, can I... Wait, what, what kind of tool do I need to... Can I use a pickaxe to break this? Okay, good. All right, let, let, let's, let's try this again. We'll throw that right there. And then let's try this. Did it pick it up? It did. Nice, good. Now it hopefully shouldn't burn down the entire area. That's good. There we go. Okay, that's going to work. Also... The vacuum hopper. Oh god, no, it's still gonna burn down. All right, well, I'm I'm gonna have to make this a little bit. Oh 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 god, no! Give me that back. Okay. So the thing with the vacuum hopper. Oh, it's still burning stuff down. It's still burning stuff down. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. But it looks like I mean, for the most part, I could just put some stone and it should be fine. Now the other. God. The other thing with the vacuum hopper is I can get rid of this mess. Like this thing right here, this monstrosity. I can get rid of that and I can just put a vacuum hopper and it should be able to replace all of all of this right here. So I don't have to worry about that anymore. And that will pull all the items in from the sieve. So <laughs> I can't believe that thing just disappeared. All right. Ooh, oh God, you know what? Hold on. I think I put too much fuel in this. I put too much fuel in this. I think it's gonna... Okay, good. It's up to three. Whew. Yeah, I did leave a little too much fuel in there. I, I left a little too much fuel in there. But I, th I think we're good. We're good. We're good, Ski. All right, well, anyways, uh, this has been productive. Uh, I have a lot of work to do still. Um, I want to get this area better suited for growing the soybeans and also for the uh plastic plants and stuff like that but anyways that is going to be it for this one thank you for watching certainly would appreciate it if you hit that like button remember always always blame the controller because it's never your fault